Hey guys, uh, for this video, as you can see here, uh, this is a shot of Henrik Sedin wearing the now retired uh, home jersey, which the Canucks just retired this past off season for a new slightly updated uniform, which includes a new updated stick and rink shoulder patch, which is now white, even on the away jersey, which is really weird, but I like the design of the new stick and rink shoulder patch better. And of course, the Vancouver word mark is now a thing of the past, and it's just the orca prominently on the front as the crest now, instead of it being a smaller size with the Vancouver word mark above it. And the same is on their away jersey as well. Now, although I agree with those who say that the tweaks ha are overall an upgrade, I don't like the white shoulder patch on their away jersey, especially when the away jersey's shoulder yoke is white like the rest of the body of the jersey. It looks weird. And not only that, I am still of the belief that it's long overdue for the Canucks to finally have retired the Orca. Now, I agree with my viewers, uh, Sean and even uh, Andre, I believe. I believe that's who it was. Um, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, but um, here's the thing. You know, I really wanted to see the Canucks finally move on from the Orca, and they didn't. Now, I have already made numerous videos and shared numerous thoughts and feelings on this already, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But I really wanted the Canucks to either go back to the stick and rink full-time or even do something new with Johnny Canuck. Hell, I'd even take the skate uniforms over what they've got now. At least the color scheme is really cool, at least in my biased opinion, of course. But anyways... Here's the elephant in the room that I really want to talk about. So when the Canucks had the special ceremonial face-off to uh, officially announce the worst-kept secret uh, for the Vancouver Canucks going into this season, that Bo Horvat uh, would be the new captain of the Canucks, uh, the original and very first captain in Vancouver Canucks history, Orland Curtinback, as you can see here, who's sporting the original white Canucks sweater, not only came out onto center ice for the ceremonial puck drop and to hand Bo Horvat, to help hand Bo Horvat his uh, new jersey with the Captain C on the front, but notice how he is wearing the original white Canucks sweater from 1970 in an Adi Zero jersey cut. Notice how he's wearing an Adidified version of the very first white Canucks sweater or jersey in franchise history. So notice how the collar is really well done for a, for a collar design that I've hated since the moment it came out. A full royal blue collar with Kelly Green piping. Now that's something that pisses me off about the Canucks new uniforms. Why did they not fix the half-finished collars? And on top of that, why didn't they at least get rid of the agency font? I, I don't get that either. But the thing that bothers me the most, and I and to those of you who do prefer the Orca, I want you to know I totally respect your opinion. I know we are not all going to agree on this, but in my personal opinion, I really do believe, and I know I said it earlier, but it's long overdue for the Canucks to finally get rid of the Orca. Now... As we all know, the Canucks announced that they would be wearing their newly updated home and away uniforms, which overall I do think are an upgrade over what they've replaced, as you can see here. And of course, they're going to have a new modernized take on the original 1970 Royal Blue jersey as their new third jersey. And personally, I think it sucks. The green stripes on the waist and the arms without any white accents at all to contrast it. And... That, in my opinion, is just a totally mediocre design. Um, I would even go as far to say it's one of the worst third jerseys in the National Hockey League right now. And one of the worst jerseys in Canucks history. I would even go as far to say that it might even be the very worst jersey in Canucks history. I know that's a crazy statement. And I don't expect a lot of, a people, a lot of you viewers out there to agree with me on that. But honestly, they took an original jersey design that... Although I've never loved it myself, it was certainly far better than what the Canucks decided to up, to modernize it to. 
I mean, their new third jersey took, an ori took their original blue jersey and made it even worse. I mean, the new modernized stick and rink logo, I do like it better than the stick and rink logo that the Canucks have uh, now retired. The new one, I like it better. I know not all of us agree, and but I do agree with my viewer, Andre, in the fact that uh, the original has always looked good. But in my personal opinion, this is my favorite Canucks jersey of all time. I love this one. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. And I, I believe that the Canucks should just switch to this full time again. This is my favorite Canucks jersey. I think it's a, a pleaser for everybody, whether you're a skate lover or a stick and rink lover. Um, I, I like the skate. I mean, I, I've even said that I'd like to see something new even with Johnny Canuck, which I would have preferred over the mediocre new third jersey that Vancouver got. But unfortunately, that's just a case of the it being the way the cookie is crumbled, unfortunately. But anyways... Notice how Orland Curtinback is wearing an Adidified version of the original very first white jersey in Canucks history with dimpled shoulders, with a dimpled shoulder yoke, and a great big fat round Addy Zero collar to boot. So obviously the Canucks announced updated home and away jerseys. Also the new third jersey, which honestly I don't like except for the new updated stick and rink logo. And... The uh, third jer and special heritage jersey, sorry, which will be their 1994 throwback uniform that they will be wearing for three games this season. And it was voted by the fans because the Canucks gave their fans the options of either the navy blue late 90s, 2000s jersey, which I don't even, I would be shocked if it got even... 10% of the vote. There was also the option for the black flying V jersey, which was the jersey that I was hoping would have won because the Canucks had were the first team in the modern National Hockey League, like going back into like the 1970s and stuff to really to go with a full time home and away jersey set that was so radically different and beyond the conventional hockey jersey. I think it should have been worn as and celebrated this season. And I'm honestly disappointed that they never did. And I mean, I'm happy to see the 94 throwback come back. Don't get me wrong. And here's a quick little uh, shot of it here for you guys to see. Even with the uh, mediocre Addy Zero collar. I mean, at least this jersey is going to look good on the ice. I can hardly wait to see the Canucks wear it a few times this season. That, in my personal opinion, is definitely a plus. But I really wanted to see the Flying V. And I know I can understand most people not liking it, but you know what? It's the 50th anniversary. You should celebrate your history, and the Canucks should celebrate the fact that they were the first, basically the first team in NHL history, at least in the modern era to do something radically different and go beyond the traditional conventions of a hockey jersey. I mean, you hear about how Adidas always has these grandiose ideas of pushing the limits of what a hockey jersey is. Well, the Canucks did it before it was cool. And as you can see here, Stan Smeal actually skated out onto the ice tonight as part of the Canucks 50th anniversary pregame celebration, wearing an Adidified version of the yellow Flying V jersey. And I don't care what anybody says, I still think it's a cool design. It's so radically different from anything else in terms of any chill jersey history. This design should have been worn this year, and that pisses me off. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the 94 throwback, and I'm glad the Canucks are wearing it, but... They should have worn this one, or even the black one that they had as part of the fan vote to wear for the 50th anniversary. Like, they should they should be celebrating this. I don't care if people think it's ugly. I've never thought it was terrible. Or, I mean, I've never thought that it was the worst design of all time. I mean, it's really unique. I mean, would I want the Canucks to go back to it full time? By all means, No. But I think that when you're celebrating your 50th anniversary, and 
What is the, and hang on, hang on, hang on. Before I go any further, let me ask you viewers this. What is the 50th anniversary called? It's called the Golden Anniversary, as the Los Angeles Kings and the Philadelphia Flyers proved in the 2016-17 season with their 50th anniversary jerseys. So since it's the Canucks Golden Anniversary, I mean, the Buffalo Sabres decided to do a gold-heavy jersey, which I wish it would have just been gold instead of white. Why didn't the Canucks bring this out? This would have been the perfect, quote-unquote, golden anniversary celebration throwback. It would have been perfect. I mean, they made an Adidified version of the original yellow flying V sweater, or jersey. I mean, if they made the the flying V jersey in an Addy Zero cut for Stan Smeal to skate out onto the ice to wear tonight, well, you know... That's a special jersey that they should have worn to celebrate their golden anniversary. Imagine seeing that on the ice for five special games this season. I'd rather see that jersey on the ice than the uh, than the Canucks' new awful, mediocre third jersey. And I know that obviously that's a matter of personal opinion, but still, you know, goddamn, it just. I don't know. It's just a little bit baffling to me. Like, I would have rather seen the 94 throwback as the third jersey and seen the yellow flying V jersey for a few games this year rather than what they did. Honestly, I, I, don't, I know I'm not going to be having a totally unanimous opinion on this, but I think their new third jersey is a joke. Now, something else that I think is a joke is the fact that I think one of the Canucks... Um, Early players in franchise history, I think it was, I think his name's Dave Kearns, if I'm not mistaken. I, I couldn't remember. But anyways, notice the royal blue jersey that he's wearing. It's not the Canucks uh, now retired third jersey design. It's some random, inaccurate, 70s design Canucks jersey with the royal blue stick and rink on the front and the Johnny Canuck shoulder patch from their last third jersey. I mean, why is he not wearing... Sorry to be venting, but why the hell is that man not wearing a proper, historically accurate royal blue jersey to skate out on the ice? Like, look. Like, what the hell? I mean, this looks ridiculous. Like, if he was wearing the Canucks' last third jersey, then okay. I wouldn't even be ranting on this. But look what he's wearing. He's wearing the original royal blue jersey design. Or, no, no, I'm lying. The second royal blue jersey design. There, I've factually corrected myself. So, you know, the second royal blue jersey design in Canucks history... With the wrong logo, if he was gonna have the if they were gonna have the original stick and rink logo on it, it should be in white, not blue. The only one that's ever had a blue stick and rink on it was the Canucks now retired last third jersey. And uh, why does this have a Johnny Canucks shoulder patch on it from their last third jersey? They should have had this man either skating in their last third jersey or the original or the royal blue jersey with the white stick and rink that they wore after the very first one that the Canucks new third jersey is heavily inspired by. Like, who who screwed up on this? This is ridiculous. I To me, this looks incredibly stupid. This looks like some random Canucks replica that you would find in a department store or something. I mean, I'm sorry to be ranting a little bit, but honestly, that that is not a proper historically accurate jersey i mean these guys are supposed to be celebrating their 50th anniversary and they've got a former player long retired player i might add skating out in an historically accurate uh inaccurate jersey sorry it's just a total baffling head scratcher to me like jesus christ but anyways you know uh, and another thing, actually, now that I think about it, let me go back to that uh, whole situation with 
Orland curtain back wearing an Adidified version of the Canucks' very first ever white jersey design, which I still think is the greatest design in Canucks history. Why? <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's getting a bit dry here from all this ranting, but you know what? Why the hell didn't the Canucks wear that as a third jersey this year? Or that as the Heritage jersey for three games this year, even, and the 94 jersey is a full-time third. I mean, personally, if I had my way, I think what I would do is I'd have the Canucks wear the 94 jersey as a third and the, fly and the yellow Flying V jersey as the Heritage. Because it is their quote-unquote golden anniversary after all. It would make a lot of sense. But here's a quick shot of the updated home jersey. I mean, I must say, I do like this design much better than what it's replaced. Although I still think the Orca looks totally out of place on such a traditional design. And I know I did talk to one viewer um, and Andre, that would be you about the new stick and ring shoulder patch. Personally, I really like it. And I do believe that a royal blue version of this on a white jersey could actually look pretty good. I like how the C is more prominent. Um, the, C, the stick is a little bit... I can see where you're coming from when you say that the stick's a little bit cartoonish. But honestly, I think it's okay. I mean, they could even take the original stick from the original stick and rink logo inside that, and I think that would be a really good, happy medium as well. But um, when I first saw Orland Curtainback sporting a uh, an, an Adidified version of their very first jersey in franchise history, well, their very first white one, that got my hopes up. I thought, oh my goodness, are the Canucks going to be doing some surprise bonus games wearing that throwback my favorite Canuck jersey of all time well most likely no but I really hope that Vancouver reconsiders and brings that out for select games going forward because that is such a gorgeous jersey I think it should be their full-time away jersey personally I mean that is one of the nicest jerseys in the NHL, and personally, it's one of my absolute favorite jerseys. It is so damn pretty. The Kelly Green and Royal Blue look so damn elegant on that jersey, and I I know not everyone agrees, but to me, though that jersey is far superior to both of the new home and away jerseys the Canucks have now. That's for sure. But also seeing Stan Smeal skating out in, Adida, in an Adidified version of the yellow flying V jersey was kind of weird too. Like, if the Canucks are going to wear these jerseys for upcoming games, then hell yeah, I love seeing that. But if they're not going to, then why are they wearing Adidified versions of these throwback uniforms out of the vault for this 50th anniversary season pregame celebration that they had tonight before their game against the Los Angeles Kings? I mean, it's just a head-scratcher to me. I mean, why didn't they wear... Like, for example, why didn't Orland Curtainback wear even the Reebok Edge version of the 40th anniversary jersey, the white one that he was wearing that I showed you guys earlier? And why didn't Stan Smeal just wear an historically accurate CCM replica? Or whoever made their jerseys back in the early 80s, late 70s? And as for... Uh, that one player, Kearns, skating out in some weird hybrid between their last third jersey and their second royal blue design in franchise history. Whoever thought of that, I mean, to me, I'm, I, I'm, you know what? Is it going to change anything? No. Am I making a bigger deal out of it than I probably should be? I, I'll, I'll be honest and say yeah, but you know what? I still think that it's just stupid. If he was going to wear a design like that he sh with a royal blue stick and rink on a royal blue jersey, he should have worn the third jersey design that the Canucks retired a few years ago when Reebok switched to Adidas. Sorry. It just, he just, that jersey he was wearing just looked bad. And stuff like that, I, I, I can be relatively picky if you're new to my channel. And for me, I'm picky because I care. You know, I, I think that when you're celebrating 50 years as a franchise, you know, you should celebrate it properly as far as I'm concerned.
Now, am I going to lose sleep over it? No. But I do think they should have done a better job. I mean, come on. But anyways, I mean, I would love to see Vancouver wear both of those jerseys, the original white jersey and the yellow flying V, as throwbacks at some point. They should. They should embrace different parts of their history now and then. I think that's cool. The Los Angeles Kings have. And you know what? I would have loved to have seen the Kings in their form blue 67 throwbacks, a.k.a. their purple jerseys from 1967. But you know, you know what? At the same time, they've already done both of their 67 throwbacks throughout the past nine years, and it's great to see them wearing their Gretzky era throwbacks this season. Um, I think that's a, that it's a good time for them to do that now. Um, also... Anything else I want to add? E, not really. But yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, I'm happy that the Canucks are wearing the skate jersey. And I'm glad that they have at least tweaked their jerseys. But I, I, I'll be honest. I wanted to see the Canucks either go back to an old look or do something new with Johnny Canuck. But anyways, you guys, obviously, I'm biased. I mean, we all have different views on this. I have, I've shared my views with you guys, and I'm sure you guys may have either A, identical views, or B, something different, and that's totally okay. And remember, guys, I totally respect your opinions on this, but seriously, I, I just, I think this could have been done a little bit better. I mean, their home and away jerseys, in my personal opinion, have been upgraded, so I can live with them for now, even though I want the Orca gone. Um... See, seeing the Canucks wearing their 94 jersey again for a few games, I think that's good. I like that. But their new third jersey, I think the Canucks totally crapped the bet on that design. Sorry. I think it sucks. And it's just a white stripe away on the sleeves and around the waist from being a great design, in my personal opinion. But anyways, you guys, on that note, I'm going to call it a wrap for this video. Um... I was really hoping after I saw Curtin back walking around wearing an Adidified version of the original 1970 jersey that the Canucks might have used tonight to make a special announcement for some special throwbacks on top of what they're wearing this year. But according to what I've heard, that's not the case. So thanks Adidas for getting my hopes up for nothing. Oh, and actually one more thing. I noticed that Todd Bertuzzi was wearing a, an, a historically accurate Reebok-made white Orca jersey from the 2000s before the switch to Reebok. So I noticed that he wasn't wearing an Adidified jersey. That's interesting. I mean, one explanation could be that, well, they didn't really keep their jerseys back in the day, and they didn't make jerseys back in the 70s like they do now and the early 1980s, which is fair. In Stan Smeal's case, okay. But with Orland Curtinback's uh, jersey, the Canucks wore that design as a special 40th anniversary throwback uniform nine years ago in 2010. So that was a bit baffling, but boy would I love to see the Canucks bring that design back even as a special throwback to wear a few games a year. I'll take that over nothing at all. But anyways, you guys, on that note, folks, I'm going to call it a wrap on this video. I would love to hear what you guys think about everything I've talked about here. And on that note, folks, that this is a wrap for me. Take care. And of course, until my next video, as I always say, and I'm sure I sound, I've sounded like a broken record for the past four goddamned years, but it is what it is. It's the way I end my videos. And you know what? It's my own little thing, so I'm going to continue doing it. Anyways, on that note, as I always say, take care. And of course, as usual, everyone, bye for now.